Well, good morning and welcome to today's daily devotions. My name's Miles. I'm one of the pastors at Lansdowne Church. And this morning we're going to be looking at Psalm 25. Shall we read it together? In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Saviour, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful toward those who keep the demands of his covenant. For the sake of your name, Lord, forgive my iniquity, though it is great. Who then are those who fear the Lord? He will instruct them in the way they should go. They should choose. They will spend their days in prosperity and their descendants will inherit the land. The Lord confides in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever on the Lord, for only he will release my feet from the snare. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the trouble of my heart and free me from my anguish. Look on my affliction and my distress and take away all my sins. See how numerous are my enemies and how fiercely they hate me. Guard my life and rescue me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. My integrity and uprightness protect me, because my hope, Lord, is in you. Deliver Israel, O God, from all their troubles. Well, there are many themes in this psalm, aren't there? All kinds of places we could go. And the challenge, if I'm honest with you, with these devotions in the morning is working out which themes connect with where we are at the moment in this present crisis. And one of the big themes you see in this psalm is the theme of God, guidance. God is the one who leads his people. But actually, this is a time where maybe it feels like we need guidance less than ever. I mean, we look for a guide, don't we, if we're going somewhere. If you were making a trek up a great mountain, you might look for a Himalayan guide who could lead you to the summit. Or maybe a bit more down to earth, if you were trying to get to someone's house and you didn't know where it was, you'd type their postcode into your phone and the GPS would guide you there. But during this period of lockdown, we're not going anywhere, are we? And maybe to move things um, into a slightly more abstract realm, our lives are on pause as well. So much of the things which we were expecting, things which were moving forward, things which were changing, uh, have just stopped at the moment. And people are probably not moving into new jobs, moving into new houses, moving into new relationships at the moment. Everything has been on pause. So do we need God to guide us? Do we need the God here who guides us and teaches us and shows us his ways? Well, I think the answer is still yes, maybe even more so. And it's not really like me to give you three things with the same letter, but that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to give you three P's um, that I think sum up um, the kind of guidance that we might need at the moment. The first one is pressure. Many of us are facing different pressures at the moment. The pressure uh, that come from work, the pressure maybe of ill health ourselves or, or grief and concern for other people. And under these pressures, often what comes out is, is the real us. We need God's help, don't we? God's guidance, God's direction to become the kinds of people that he wants us to be when we're facing pressures. We also need guidance to manage priorities. I don't know if you have a similar experience, but for me, often my priorities are dictated to me in, in ordinary life, if we can use that term. Uh, there's so much going on that it's pretty clear to me what the priority is now or in 10 minutes time or tomorrow. But in this period of lockdown, actually, there's been 
in some ways more space, but just as many important things that need doing. So it's even more important that we look to God to guide us to the right priorities, to use our time well, to invest the day that lays ahead of us for his kingdom, to figure out what is most crucial, most significant, most important in the way that we use our time in this day and the next one. We need God's guidance for our priorities. And this leads me on to the third P, which is people. Maybe one of the most significant priorities that we have at this time. There are people that we're very close to at the moment, some of us. Maybe you're in lockdown with others in your home. And this does give you a real opportunity to invest in relationships that have been neglected, perhaps, in recent years. Others of us have reconnected with people that we have drifted from. And it's been really good for us to feel God's guidance to individuals who we can invest in at this time. Maybe for some of you, there are ways that you can connect online or at a distance uh, with people who don't yet know Jesus. And you can share with them the life that you have in him. We need need God's guidance at the moment to lead us to the right people, to show us who we should be investing in at this time. So those are my three Ps. But before we go to prayer, just another encouragement from this psalm. One one of the other big themes is God's forgiveness. And that's good to know, isn't it? If we're honest, all of us fails to follow God's guidance perfectly. All of us will have times where we are oblivious to where God is guiding us or, or, or we're outright disobedient to what God wants us to be doing. And so it's fantastic to know, isn't it, that God is a forgiving God, that he is gracious and that he is willing to accept us back and to continue to be our guide, even when sometimes we try to ignore his guidance. So let's spend some time in prayer now and pray that God, by his spirit, would guide us today and in the days ahead. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much that we are your people and that you are a God who doesn't leave us to work it all out ourselves, but you do guide us. And even during this time where it feels like so much of life is on pause, we need your guiding hand. Lord, we need you to guide us through the challenges, the unique pressures of this time. Some of us are um, so weighed down with difficulties and we need your help to react in a way that is Christ-like, in a way that honours you. Lord, all of us need real wisdom at the moment to know how to balance the different priorities there are in our lives, to prioritise the right things, to do things of importance, not just to busy ourselves with trivial things. And Lord, we need your help as well to prioritise the right people, uh, to really invest in the people that you've put around us, the people that you've put on our hearts, the people that you've given us to care for and to love to get to know better, to share Christ with. Lord, help us to be obedient to you, to listen to your voice, to be guided by you, to follow your ways. Lord, thank you that you're a God of grace, that even though we fail you so often, you don't give up on us. Thank you that you forgive us. And Lord, we end this morning on the the note that this psalm begins with, a note of trust. We're your people and we trust you, God. Help us to trust you more as we follow you today and in the days ahead. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.